just a quick score question on that. No Anthony Evans today. Is he in with a, a, a shout for, uh, for Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. Ever will, ever will come back into the mix. The problem for him is now who you're going to leave out. Um, so yeah, he was he was chomping at the bit. He's obviously trained at the, the weekend, and we felt you know just to give him that little bit of extra time. And also, you know, we knew we weren't going to make many changes today due to the quality of performance the other night. So just to give him that extra period rest and recuperation. Um, but he's, he's he's chomping at the bit, him. Um, Alfie's had a little bit of a, a little bit of a setback, so we're, we're going to have to uh, just be careful with him. He was, he was his knee's still grumbling on. Um, Josh Grant, hopefully back on the grass, as I say, uh, comes back into contention. Maybe for Tuesday, maybe. But, but again, John Nolan, who we haven't seen yet, you know, he's still had his first full block of training. So it's, we're, we're coming, you know, and that's you know, credit to the owner. He's, he's, he's allowed us to to bring in. Um, some quality players, you know, and we're, we're being rewarded for, for his support. And it just gives you those options, doesn't it? I mean, Ryan up front gives you the option to play a slightly different way than when you've got Anne Collins there in midfield. You've got different sort of horses for courses, so you can affect any home conditions and, and who you're playing. Yeah, um, and you want to have that flexibility in your squad. But again, once results and performances come, mm. kind of flexibility goes out the window because you know the football takes care of it. The team ends up picking itself pretty much. You know that's what always happens. Um, and the key for us is, you know, if someone picks up a, a knock or a niggle, the, the, the drop off in terms of quality to the next person ready to go is, is not uh, not massive. So, so you know, we're, we're able to really not skip a beat. But you know, again, clean sheets are coming, goals are coming. Uh, you can see that finish line. You know, it's within within distance, and, and we're moving with, with with some momentum. So, long, long may that continue. And, and are you seeing that momentum in the sort of faces and, and what the players are doing, whether it's behind the scenes or on the training pitch? Just that that swagger that you get when you, you're in such a zone. Uh, yeah, but, but we've got a good group like that. That's the thing with the group. They've, they're really level-headed. You know, they don't get carried away. You know, they know we've we've had a slower start to the season and we've got work to do. So I think actually getting off to a poor start, going through that carnage, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know, we made it through as a group, you know, at all different times we were tested, we made it through. And, and we have a real strength and a real resilience about us now because we know what it's like for, we don't take our fan base for granted. We know what it's like if you're not running hard and not playing well. And, and, and now, you know, because we've experienced both of those, uh, those feelings with the group, we know what we much prefer, and, and the lads go out now, uh, and I think the fans, you know, they know this team's gonna leave everything out on the pitch, and, and I think that's what any fan asks for. And you know, on the backside of that, yeah, we're playing some great football in the midst of that, and winning games and scoring goals as well. So uh, the Gasheads have been in through some tough periods, um, but now, as I say, I think I think we're starting to get a team and a, and a club, more up, more importantly, a football club, you know, that they can be proud of because it's you know for a long period it seems like it's been. A little bit of a chaotic um, time to be a to be a, a, a gas head, and that probably looking at decades, maybe even a couple of decades worth of that. You know, we want to give them a football club that that lasts the ages, that the people, you know, that's the benchmark that, that everybody who comes after us, you know, whoever becomes the next custodian, um, that we set a benchmark that that, um, that that stands the test of time. And it's Lake Norrient up next, and I thought in the home game that they actually looked very good, but that they're not on a, a good run at the moment. No, they're not. But they, they, they were probably the best team we faced. Them Swindon at home were probably the best two. You know, they give us a, a real do. Um, they were they were miles better than us, and yeah, look, we were, we were trying to find our way, and we, we were all over the gaff, and, and we'll be a completely different outfit now. And it looks like, you know, you know the big, strong, physical boys that they had in the early part of the season, the, the, the games take the toll on them, you know, because they get a bit bigger and a bit stiffer and um, as the weather comes and the fitness levels uh, start to diminish, you know, carrying a six foot five, six foot six player, um, you know, starts to become uh, a negative for you. So they'll be, I think the game's been called off this morning at Harrogate, so I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they'll have travelled up there yesterday and they haven't played today. You know. but we'll find out after 90 minutes on Tuesday whether that's work for them or against them. You, you can't imagine anything other than pure confidence and belief growing through our players having come in and dusted this crew off today. Um, and we'll, we look forward to playing anybody now. You know, we face Mansfield, face Sutton, who are the two form sides in English football, if not our division for sure. Um, but we are also, you know, you look at the last 10 games, and I know we're talking about these blocks, 
I think there's only Mansfield sitting above us in, in that form table, uh, and we intend on keeping driving the standards and you know, keeping getting better.